Judy Keel, and you're watching Community Focus, presented by the Friends of MCTV. In this third segment of our program today, our guest is Jeff Nagel, manager of MBS International Airport. Welcome to Community Focus. Thanks, Judy. Jeff. Glad to be here. Thanks for joining us to talk about one of our region's greatest yes. assets, MBS International Airport. Now, I wonder if most long-term residents like me could answer this question. Who owns MBS International Airport? Well, that's a great question. Uh, the city of Midland is actually one-third owner of the airport. I don't think people know that. Very I don't. Think, <laughs> I, I usually uh, state that when I, I go out and give various speeches throughout the community. And a lot of people don't know, and of course, they're they're co-owners mm -hmm. of the airport. Uh, the city of Saginaw is one-third owner, and Count Bay County is the other third owner. So those three entities own the airport. That's why we get MBS. Right? That's exactly yeah. why we get MBS. So does that mean our local tax dollars subsidize it? It doesn't. Actually, MBS is a unique airport in the state of Michigan and probably in the country that we uh, don't receive local tax dollars to operate or, uh, or fund the day-to-day operations at the airport. Mm -hmm. Unlike, uh, uh, you know, Flint Airport or, or Lansing, they receive anywhere from three to five million dollars a year from the local residents to, to help support the airport. Although we're owned by the three communities, mm -hmm. the three community residents don't contribute any local tax dollars to operate the airport. Now we do apply for and we're eligible for uh, federal grants mm -hmm. and every ticket that's purchased uh, on the airlines, uh, uh, there's fees that go to the Aviation Trust Fund in sure. Washington and then we apply as do other airports apply for grants to help capital projects so we can overlay a runway or buy a, uh, a snow plow or um, a, a fire truck uh, but we can't use that money for the day-to-day -day operations right. so we're, we're completely self-sufficient in that way good to know yes so what role does the community play in the airport's operations um, well um, Midland appoints three members to the nine-member airport commission. Mm -hmm. uh, the city of Saginaw appoints three members, and Bay County appoints three. Those nine folks are uh, make up the airport commission, and the commission uh, really we're our own little uh, governmental entity. Mm -hmm. uh, we pass ordinances. We have minimum standards. We have leases with various uh, entities and businesses on the airport. Uh, we have uh, uh, agreements with the uh, with the with the airlines and rental cars and leases for that. We have uh, currently we have 24 employees. Mm -hmm. We're responsible for uh, maintaining all the pavement. So there's a lot of snow plowing uh, done in the winter time. A lot of grass needs to be cut in the summertime. Uh, the buildings need to be you know kept up and maintained sure. and cleaned. Uh, we have a full time 24 hour a day, seven day a week uh, airport specific fire department uh, on staff. Uh, and and we, we do all the operations, we do wildlife, we do security. So those are some of the uh, day-to-day the -day operations that the uh, airport commission and the staff are, are responsible okay, for. Okay, that's great. Now, speaking of important decisions, one of the biggest undertakings that uh, has happened in, at MBS in recent years is the new terminal. Uh, how did that decision come about? Well, that was about in 2005. There was an uh, independent uh, examination from architects and engineers of our existing building mm -hmm. and looked at uh, whether that building would be able to meet the needs and the codes and the requirements for the future. Uh, the results of that study said that either a major, fairly substantial remodel of the existing building would be needed or a new building. And in 2006, uh, the Airport Commission made a pretty bold uh, decision to, to build the new building mm -hmm. on a, a fresh uh, area site uh, to the north mm -hmm. and that project started it continued it uh, was 14 different phases of work it was over uh, 50 million dollars of, uh, of total total project cost uh, it opened uh, a year ahead of schedule and the fact I think I'm most proud of is we opened uh, the building in 2012 and there's no debt so we since we're self-sufficient we have to watch our, our, our pennies and there's no debt uh, on the pen, on the building it's, it's paid for. Wonderful. So how has business been? It's been good. Uh, last year, 2014, uh, our, our passenger traffic was up about a percent over 2013. And I think in uh, uh, today's environment, any growth is good. Uh, in 2015, so far, year to date, we're a little bit ahead of 2014. So we're tracking in the right direction. Uh, the airlines, uh, United uh, Express put a, a fourth daily flight on to the Chicago market last spring. Mm -hmm. That's done very well for United and gave us extra seats in and out of uh, MBS. And Delta last year experimented with some nonstop service from MBS to Atlanta, which opened up another hub, and that went very well for Atlanta for for Delta as well. Wow, very good. 
On a lot of the local media outlets, I often hear commercials that pose that question, why fly yeah, MBS? What would you tell the viewers here about MBS International's role in our community? You know, we're, we're a vital uh, part of, of the community for the Great Lakes Bay region. Mm -hmm. uh, we sit right in the middle of all three communities. We serve all three communities very well. Um, um, we, we really are a crown jewel, I think, of, of the area. A few years back, we did an economic impact study uh, for the airport, and it showed a $100 million annual economic impact for MBS to the area. Mm -hmm. And again, remember, that's all without local tax dollars being right. used. So, so when you fly MBS, you're supporting uh, the Great Lakes Bay region, you're supporting MBS, and you're supporting the, the overall area. That's great. another great reason that we're lucky to live in the Great Lakes Bay region. Correct. Well, thank you for appearing on Community Focus to keep us informed about our very own airport. Oh, I'm always glad to get on and talk about MBS Airport. Very proud of it. Awesome. In our final segment today, we're going to hear how any Midlander can learn to make TV at Midland Community Television.